Hello everyone, this is Hank. Uh, this is a re-review of the Amazon Basics Everyday Carry Folding Knife. Okay, two weeks ago I did the original and <clears throat> I made a statement that the knife fails to lock um, easily. And I since then want to retract that because after two weeks of use um, I don't have that problem anymore. Uh, either because I wasn't knowledgeable enough on how to open it or the knife just get you know uh, broken in it works really well now okay uh, first of all let's do the review first so this knife you can order from Amazon obviously for ten dollars forty three cents um, it is made of stainless steel with black and um, some sort of a blackened process. It doesn't really state uh, what kind of steel it is. I suspect it's a 440 steel. It seems to be hard enough for for use anyway. It can cut and hold an edge fairly well uh, with my two-week experience on it. Okay, it comes with a little pocket like this which fits kind of loosely but um, it can hold it securely with a belt buckle. Uh, nothing to really write home about. Okay, um, the knife itself is four and a half inch long, and uh, when it's fully open, it's about almost eight inch long. It's like um, seven inch and uh, seven eighths. Um, the the blade is about three and a half inch long with the effective blade about three inch okay and it weighs um, substantially is about five out so it's not um, a very uh, light knife all right um, very well made um, and here let me open it now the the real reason for the re-review was that I complained that when you open this thing and it sometimes fails to lock and therefore very dangerous now after two weeks of use okay I find out that this thing locks every time now either it got broken in or I just know how to use it more properly not really sure Okay, let's talk about the feature of the knife first. It comes with the belt clip here on one end, and it's not ambidextrous. It is designed for the right-hander. Over here, you, you don't have the holes to remove and reinstall. Now, the opening tab is available on both sides, so that's not a problem. Okay, um, the wood inserts are, appear to be real wood, very nice looking. Um, the blade is what they call a American Tanto blade. Uh, it's distinctive that it has two separate edges. Okay, one edge is here, the other one's here. Okay, here. And and this knife is good in two parts. The first one is that the tip is really thick and uh, so therefore very strong. You can use it to pry things with. So that is one advantage of a tanto blade. The other advantage is that it has two different edges and, and at this edge here you can use it to cut um, the tape uh, seam on the the boxes and uh, you can control the depth fairly well with it so therefore you you reduce the chance of cutting into the merchandise inside the box okay it also the blade at the end here has the serrated edge here which is good for cutting ropes and stuff like that now this knife is fairly sharp out of the box but um, I wouldn't call it uh, razor sharp. Now I spent about five minutes or so sharpening it and it appears to be very sharp. I'm going to try to give you a, a quick paper cut test 
and um, keep in mind I'm not an expert in cutting paper but I, I think that it cuts very well okay it, it can slice through paper without much of a problem okay um, for a ten dollar knife that is more than adequate for use okay and um, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but I figured out how to open this thing one-handed easily by flipping it. So uh, you just raise it like that and then flip it open and it locks very well. Okay, every single time now. So with that, I highly recommend this knife. It, it is a good um, carry knife because uh, it is legal in most states because it is a pure mechanical knife, no spring assisted, anything like that. So in the state of California where I live, um, a folding knife you can carry it legally unless it is an automatic or a switchblade. Now the automatic is fairly simple, you press one button it comes out. That to me definition is fairly clear. Now the, the defi definition of switchblade is a little bit harder uh, when it comes to spring assisted models. So um, so I, I was a little concerned about it. With this one, pure mechanical one, there's no question about legality of it. So, so in the state of California I can carry this legally concealed and put it in my pocket. I don't have to worry about that. So um, so with that, I'd like to thank you very much. Again, just to flip it open. It opens every time, one-handed. Um, you don't really need a spring-assisted model. Okay, with that, thank you very much. If you um, haven't, please subscribe. And uh, give me a like if you could. Thank you.